recently occurred to me what is so wrong with the uh, all female Ghostbusters thing and why it's such a big hullabaloo? I, I, I guess I've been sort of working on this in my head a little bit subconsciously, but it, it was crystallized by a video I saw not too long ago by a feminist who, uh, well, that's not entirely fair. It could have been a feminist, it could have just been someone having a joke. It's really hard to tell when somebody takes an extremist position whether they're uh, believing it or lampooning it. Anyway. She was saying, uh, or denigrating, all these mouth-breathing basement dwellers, these little boys who uh, were stuck in video games and hadn't grown up, who, who um, boy men, I suppose, who had um, sort of grown up on Ghostbusters as the nerd heroes and sort of taken them on as their own, and how, and how they couldn't uh, now part with it and, and let women have part of that too. And, and, and I thought, you know what, that, that's absolutely what it is. That's absolutely what it is. What you've got is all these nerdy kids who, who had heroes in the Ghostbusters, these nerdy boys, um, and have basically formed you know, their sort of nerdy subculture around this whole thing. And then here you come with these Hollywood executives cynically using, um, say, uh, equality as a way of just um, retreading an old movie uh, to make a bunch of money off off women who 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 just you know earn disposable income and might be amenable to that sort of thing, or at least you know to to the whole um, to the whole uh, SJW thing that they're sort of plugging into, um, make some cash um, by retreading a movie um, at the expense of and here's the thing taking away this cultural emblem for a, a, a nerd. You know, some of the most disadvantaged people in the world, these basement-dwelling mouth-breathers who have no lives and will never get um, a girlfriend or anything, and and they've basically just adopted the, the subculture. And one of the things, like, you know, it's, it's like the cultural appropriation thing, but this is worse, so much worse. Subcultural appropriation, subcultural appropriation from a bunch of losers who can't really defend themselves and all they can do is, like write nasty tweets on the internet. Well, that's just appalling that you would do that to such a disadvantaged group. Subcultural appropriation. It's appalling. The SJW should be mad as hell.